a street named after one of the Central District's most beloved community members, Devon Pickett Jr. It was a dedication to his work and leadership in the community, a life that was extinguished by a bullet last October in front of the postman, the business he and his wife founded. The unveiling of the street sign at the corner of 21st Avenue and Union Street was a celebration, but also a highly emotional event. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. I just wish my baby was here with us to celebrate. And for me, um, my journey is to keep my baby's name alive wherever I can do that. And um, so that's my fight. We have three children. So every morning I see Devon in their face. Every day I'm reminded that he's still here in his legacy to have a street after their grandfather and their father is inspiration and motivation to keep pushing as a mother. As you guys all know, this block, the scene as a whole, um, played a major role in Devon's upbringing and who he was and who he is and uh, where his legacy will continue to go. I can just feel my brother right now, like, stop playing. Stop playing, huh? Because I can just hear it out. He just Long live Devon Pickett Jr. Long live. Yes. Long live. Long live. Stop playing. Stop playing. The resolution to rename the street was sponsored by Seattle City Council member Teresa Mosqueda, and it was approved unanimously by the council. Today's about celebrating life. It's about continuing a legacy, but it's about continuing the commitment to fight for justice against gun violence. From one of Pickett Jr.'s cousins, a somber reminder for the reason the street was named after Devon. I would be remiss to not say that we're here as the result of something tragic. Gun violence killed my cousin, Devon Pickett Sr. Gun violence killed my cousin, Devon Pickett Jr. I'd be remiss if I didn't say that. And I wouldn't be true and I wouldn't be honest and authentic if I didn't say that. So there's something that has to be done about that. Seattle Mayor Bruce Harrell spoke about the importance of the community's role to stop violence in the city. We gotta protect our community. Do you understand? We have to protect our community. No mother should have to go what this mother went through. No wife should have to go what she went through. No children should have to go what they went through. Pickett Jr.'s widow, Kiana Pickett, said the community must look to the future. We can't change the past. The past is the past. But every moment we have right now moving forward is what we have choice in, what we have purpose in, what we have everything to give for everything that's happened before us. Friends and family paid tribute to Pickett Jr.'s selfless leadership and influence, which was felt throughout the community. He just affected people's, impacted people's life and, and without even knowing, just being naturally him, you know what I'm saying, he led by example. He brought a lot of inner city folks who would never experience college, they followed him, and they was on the baseball team, the basketball team, the volleyball team, you know, folks from all kind of aspirations. Devon was able to lead by, by pursuing his dream. When people were leaving through gentrification and everything else, he stayed. He stayed and he fought a different way. He fought a different way. He fought by staying in the community, being involved in the community, keeping his business in the community. It would have been easy to leave with that type of business, but he stayed. 